Yo, what's up everyone? So in this video, I wanted to copy a website design. I wanna copy the Upwork landing page using a tool for the Oxygen Builder called Nimbify. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Nimbify extension is, it just basically lets you copy any HTML from any web page and lets you import it right into Oxygen. So let me just show you how this works. So um, let me head to the Nimbify website first. It's gonna give you a couple different steps to get started. So you're gonna to have to sign up and register using your email address. And then you're gonna to have to buy some tokens just so that you can use them to then import the information into Oxygen. And I'll show you how this works. So um, this is the page that we're gonna copy. I'm gonna make the header and footer first uh, kind of as the main template. And then we'll go ahead and we'll build the inside. We'll take everything from here all the way down. So let's get right started. Um, I'm on the oxygen builder. I'm going to click on templates and then I'm just going to add a new one and I'm just going to title this main and I want this uh, to be a catch all. I want this to be on all pages, the header and footer. Um, so I'm going to let this load once I edit with oxygen and then I'm going to come here. I'm going to right click on whatever I want to copy. I'm going to inspect the element. And since I've already done this before, I kind of know what selectors to copy. So you can copy this and import it in two different ways. So the first one is once you already have your account set up and you have the extension, uh, the Google Chrome extension, that is, I'm going to click on it and then it allows you to kind of point and click on whichever section you want to copy and then it'll let you take a snapshot. So I can click on this and I can take a snapshot. But if you want a better way, kind of a more accurate way to do so, you can uh, inspect the element. You can go wherever you want. So I'm going to go and highlight this section. And since I've already done this, um, I think it's this one. I think it's this. Yeah. So I'm going to click on this and then um, actually it's this, this selector. I'm going to right click it and then I'm going to click on copy. Then I'm going to copy the selector and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the extension again so that this little M pops up. You're going to click on it, type in, what you copied and then you're going to click on take a snapshot and then once that snapshot has been taken you can now go back into oxygen and i'm just going to look at the structure here so that we can start building and then once you're in this make sure to select the body so that every time you paste something it's going to paste to the end of the document in this case we don't have anything so i'm just going to click on this and then import it right into oxygen and then it's just going to do its magic and then it's going to copy everything over So you'll see that it copied everything over. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's a pretty good starting point. It's actually a lot faster than if we were to just do this by hand. Now this is the header. I'm going to do the same thing with the footer, but before I copy it, I'm going to have to click on body again so that it doesn't paste anything within this div. So I'm going to click on body and I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to speed this up for just for the sake of the video. And then I'm going to go into the inner content uh, part of it. Cool, so I just finished copying a, the footer. It looks uh, pretty decent. So now I'm gonna click back on the body and then I'm just gonna add, and then I'm gonna add the inner content. That way we can build anything the way we want within this template that we're building. So nice, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then I'm gonna go back into the admin, create a new page, and then we'll start building the inner part of this entire thing. I'm going to create a page title at home and make sure that it's adopting the main template, the one that we just created. So I'm just going to click on publish. And once you do that, you can now um, edit with oxygen. Cool. Now we're in uh, the page. We're going to start creating the page. And I'm going to go all the way up and then I'm going to repeat the exact same process. So I'm going to speed this up and then we'll talk about um, what I think about it and the pros and cons of the extension.
Cool, so I've pretty much copied every single thing. It didn't take me that long. I think it took me around five minutes, four minutes, give or take. And that's because I was kind of going slow, making sure I did everything correct. But um, here's what I mean um, when all this is, is copied over correctly. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click on whatever element. I'm just gonna click on this button um, just to show you. And then if you notice here on the left-hand side, every element is given an ID just like any element would using the oxygen builder normally. But then if I click on this, I can see that there's two classes that have been copied over from this page. So if I click on one, and then if I go to advanced, you can see that it already has some styling properties. It already has some background properties. Um, maybe you can change it if you want. And then it also has some custom CSS, and it'll bring all the CSS with it sometimes in this form. So the only thing that I would recommend is that I would rename all the classes and IDs just so that it's easier to work with. And obviously you can tell that not all of this is brought um, is brought over correctly, that you can see the menu, there's some issues with like the, the header area and there's some padding issues with this hero section. But for the most part, everything copied over pretty well. Even the CSS gets copied over to a certain extent, but I would still um, use all the global colors and set up oxygen in the way that we would normally set it up just so that it's easier to manage. And a couple of things that I wanna mention. So if I'm looking at this and I want to see if a certain image was copied over, um, well, obviously it's not, it's not gonna upload it to your media library. It's just gonna copy over the, um, the kind of link that, that this image is stored on. So I don't know if this is an image, this is actually a code block, so you want, might wanna replace that, but for other images, for instance, this one, it's just gonna give the Upwork URL. So if you're gonna do a site this way, you're just gonna have a lot of HTTP requests to the other servers and it'll slow it down. So obviously this is just kind of to, to get bit, bits and pieces from different sites, kind of create your own, tailor it to your own brand, but but yeah, the images don't come in correctly. And so you might wanna play around with that. And then the other thing that I think is, um, is, is kind of bothersome, it's kind of uh, uh, tedious in a way, is the mobile versions and the versions of the different viewports. So if I click on here and I resize this to something less than 768, which is a normal size for a phone, I guess, you can see that it's all messed up. And, and I don't know if you can copy the mobile version one by one, I haven't tested it out, but um, you can see that it doesn't look good. So, so that's another thing that you're just gonna have to take into account that you're gonna have to do by yourself. It's just a mobile version of things. And then the last thing is, um, so say for instance, if you were to have um, this hero image, if this was instead a slider, well, the JavaScript and all that functionality wouldn't automatically come in. You'd actually have to build that out yourself. So those are a couple different things that I saw with Oxygen and, and Dimbify and Extension that aren't the best but I think you can work around it. I think it's an easy way to use. It's still a faster workflow than is trying to build everything yourself. So I don't know, I really like this, uh, this extension with Oxygen. It makes for quicker building and I think it's pretty useful. The way I use it is um, I just take bits and pieces off of different website designs that I like and then I kind of mold it into one, into whatever website I'm, I'm, I'm working with and then I kind of tailor the website to their brand. And so I'm just a big fan of the dry method, the do not repeat yourself method. If someone's already done something pretty well, you can just borrow from it and you can expand upon it, make it better. So, so yeah, that's what I think about it. I really like this extension. I hope you guys learned something in this video and give it a try. Uh, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. If it's just something that I use and I kind of wanted to review it, show you how quick it was to copy a landing page. Um, so yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, I appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.